Hey, what's up everybody? Jason here. The saltwater tank is done. It's set up as of right now. Uh, first off, I want to give a special shout out and thanks to Alex Holly, uh, administrator, or I'm sorry, moderator, administrator, whatever of our group, aquarium enthusiast. Thank you, buddy. You've helped me a lot. Oh, we've been PMing each other back and forth. He's been helping me on saltwater knowledge. There's also been a few other of you in the group who have helped me. Also, thank all of you for your help. Uh, the tank is up and running. I uh, just want to say real quick, if you guys want to know exactly everything that I use, go back two videos before this. Uh, I believe it's the uh, it's update and saltwater setup, 20 gallon, uh, to see all the stuff that I bought. There's an unboxing video. I did change filters. I'm not using the internal filter that I was supposed to use that I built. I'm using a Fluval Aqua Clear 50 and... I will actually probably get another one to put on the tank. I'll probably have two. I uh, wasn't able to film really. I wasn't able to make a video of the setup, but I took a bunch of pictures and we're going to do a slideshow. I'll do a little narrative uh, and I will explain as much as I can. So check it out. All right. First thing we did is my son welded together a nice sturdy steel stand for the tank. He took welding in high school and he's really good at it. Uh, so nice sturdy stand, nothing fancy, just simple. Um, and then we ended up painting it black and putting some weather stripping on it, as you can see right there. So nice and cushion, cushiony for the tank. Uh, once that was done and we got the tank, uh, went back, we went to our one of our local fish stores, got 25 pounds of live rock. We kind of set it up there uh, to see what we could do with it. Got a a 20 pound bag of carob sea live sand that's the wet stuff uh ready to go you just dump it in the tank and then at the local fish store they have this awesome freaking flower horn 80 bucks reminded me of ragnar made me sad oh, i wanted to get this guy but he was he was already bigger than ragnar he's probably nine inches guy's freaking awesome beautiful and here's everything once we got back home uh we got 20 gallons of water there's a roll up of background there it's two-tone blue and, and black so in total we got 20 gallons of salt water five gallon buckets uh, once we got home my wife started hosing off just rinsing off all the the live rock that we got make sure there's no there was actually a little millipede in there or a centipede so rinsed off all the live rock set it up put the uh, we put the background on she wanted the blue facing out so you, and there's a tank on the stand looks really nice and sleek and i don't know if you can tell right here but there's a little piece of plexiglass at the bottom i cut a piece of plexi or the eighth inch acrylic so that the live rock would sit on that so no chance of it scraping cracking breaking the glass uh, once you have it set up like that that's on the flat piece of acrylic so you don't have to worry about it poking uh, the glass and there it is all set up put the fluval filter on the back and what I, how I set this filter up, uh, actually, I only used the sponge on the bottom of it. I cut it in half, so the sponge is only about three-quarter inch thick. Uh, about two inches of filter floss and filled the rest up with BioHome Ultimate Filter Media. Um, I love that stuff. So that's what I'm putting in my filter. I didn't really get to, I didn't really get any pictures of me putting the sand in. Uh, I just cut the bag open using a cup and poured, put the sand in and then poured all the salt water in and then got the filter running. And here it is set up. Looks like absolute crap because it's all cloudy. Uh, but it actually cleared up overnight really quick. I added a water polisher. I'll show you here in a minute. I got a picture of, but looks pretty cool. The light is really bright, nice color. And then once we were all done, we decided to watch the brand new Jerry Seinfeld on Netflix stand-up comedian. The guy's 65 years old and still doing it. Guy rocks. And there is, this is the next morning, actually today, Sunday morning, nice and clear up. Here's a picture of the water polisher I made in the past. It's just a power head with a spice container turned upside down, stuff it with filter floss, and that helped clear it up really, really quick. Still a little foggy, but uh, there it is. Uh, mostly cleared up. Looks freaking amazing. Love it. Uh, my wife is super stoked about this. And there's just another picture of the filter. And try to get a picture of the light 
full spectrum. This light's awesome, super bright, and it's hot. I don't know if it's supposed to get that hot, but I also found my other wave maker uh, in my bin of fish stuff when I w was going to set up a saltwater tank about a couple years ago in the Boise house. So if I need another wave maker to put in there, I got one, which is pretty cool. But there it is, all set up, still clearing up. It's running right now. Uh, just got to let it cycle for a while. Not sure how long, but you guys let me know how long I should set, let this cycle, what I should put in there, maybe to help uh, cycle it pretty uh, even faster. But uh, yeah, there it is, 20 gallon salt water tank. All right, that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, appreciate it. I hope these videos help anybody else if you're a newbie out there set up a saltwater tank because I am a newbie too. Uh, if you guys have any comments, advice, anything, please leave them in the comments section. I welcome all the advice I can get right now, any constructive criticism. Uh, let me know what kind of fish I can put in the small tank and corals. I, I think that we're going to go with soft corals because I think those are easier to take care of. Uh, the water parameters don't have to be too crazy. I'm probably going to maybe put that other wave maker in. I don't know. But thanks for watching. Not sure how long I need to let this cycle, but I will give you guys an update here in a couple of weeks. Take care.